In this video, I will compare Sunsama versus TikTik and tell you which of these scheduling slash organizing tools may be best for you and your needs. So first, what exactly do they do and what are their main differences? Let's start with TikTik. So TikTik's main selling point, in my opinion, is the fact that it is completely free to get started with. They do have a premium plan as well, where you will unlock more advanced features, but for most of the basic features, it's just free. In this free plan, you can already set up recurring tasks. You can turn Gmails into tasks. So the way that that works is if you get an email, you can send it to a designated email address and then you can turn it into a task. You can also set up Siri widgets on your phone so that you can actually see your tasks on your phone as well. So the great thing about TikTik again is that it is completely free. They do have a premium plan which only costs $36 annually. So that's less than $3 per month. So even this one is very affordable. Here you will unlock full calendar functionality. You can customize the filters. So for example, priority of a task, you can create more, achieve more, etc. You can keep everything under control, track your progress and more. So if you do want to actually use the widget, for example, you will need to upgrade to their premium plan. But $3 per month is pretty affordable. Now comparing TikTik to Sunsama, Sunsama does offer a lot more features. You will see what they are doing is make work-life balance a reality. In terms of features that will actually help you do that, you can see those right here. They have a daily planner, you have a unified daily view where you can see all of your tasks and you can plan tomorrow, today, or you can do it in the morning for this day and it's just a very good planner. You can also create a backlog of things that you still need to get done that you didn't get to in the last weeks, for example. And then if you have a free day, then you can simply book those in on that day. You can also set daily and weekly goals, which is something that I like a lot. You can set up time boxes. So the planner does look a lot nicer than that of TikTik, in my opinion. As you can see, it looks very aesthetically pleasing and it integrates with a bunch of different softwares. You can see that here under the integration. So if you use any of these you can integrate it and then for example I use Asana then I can drag in tasks from Asana into my calendar and then I can set a time that I want to do that and it's just a very easy integration which I do like a lot. Now it also works with Gmail, Monday.com, Notion, Slack, Microsoft Teams and a bunch more. And through Zapier, it actually integrates with over seven and a half thousand apps. This is old. And right now, Zapier offers seven and a half thousand different integrations. Now, in terms of pricing, it is more expensive than TikTik. They don't have a free plan, although they do have a free trial. But their pay plan is with a yearly subscription, $16 per month. And with a monthly subscription, $20 per month. Now, I think Sunsama is worth it for most people. The only reason I would go with TikTik is if you don't have any money to invest and you're looking for a completely free option. But if you have some money to invest and you want to take this seriously, then Sunsama is the better option. It has more features and their features are just better with stuff like weekly planning, recurring tasks, with stuff like weekly planning, moving tasks to the next day if you don't get it, putting them in your backlog, and it integrates directly with your Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and also the Apple Calendar. Now, if you want to get started with Sunsama, I'll leave a link to their home screen right here down in the description. And through that link, you can start a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. And just click try for free right here and then go to sign up. It's super easy. I have created a full tutorial about Sinsama and that video is about 13 minutes long. So if you want to save yourself some time, go ahead and click on that link down in the description. That video will be the second link. And there I explain everything, how you can use the integrations, how you can set up recurring tasks, how you can plan your days and just everything you need to know about Sinsama to really help you get started. So the first link in the description will let you get started with Sinsama for free. And the second link will be a full tutorial. So you can click on those links down in the description. So that concludes this comparison of Sinsama versus TikTik. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.